Hello. Today I'm here to talk about a film that is also 65 years old and uh, it's just an excellent film uh, across the board um, from the writing, acting, directing, and the music and just everything about it is uh, <clears throat> fantastic. Um, that film is, of course, uh, Bridge on the River Kwai, starring uh, William Holden, uh, Alec Guinness, Jack Hawkins, um, Susi Hayakawa, I probably just butchered that name, apologies, James Donald, and Ann Sears, um, with uh, Jeffrey Horn being, this is his first film, um, And it was directed by David Lean, who made Lawrence of Arabia, and also Sam Spiegel, uh, also produced that film also, which, um, of course, this came first. Um, so when Lawrence of Arabia came, uh, was released, they advertised it from the people that brought you, you know, Bridge on the River Kwai. And this film won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Director and Best Actor for Alec Guinness. Um, you know, he plays uh, Colonel Nich Nicholson. Um, William Holden plays uh, she, uh, she, uh, Shears, uh, and he's I guess, supposed to be in the Navy, but, you know, as the film goes on, we find out that his ranking isn't as it appears to be, and so there's some sort of a... He, he finds himself into a pickle because um, when at the beginning when we see the arrival of Nicholson and his men, all British, of course, um, to this uh, POW camp uh, by the Japanese, um, by Sato, um, get played by... So see, Aika, Aikawa, um, whom is the only person uh, who was nominated for an Academy Award for this film and did not win. Um, I think he should have won Best Supporting Actor. Um, but you know, that, that is, you know, the performances are all are just fantastic. Um, there's a. Jack Hawkins plays uh, Warden, who, um, after she just escapes you know, um, from the camp with some others who all die, you know, he uh, uh, gets into the river and uh, is able to get away and get to safety with the help of uh, Native people because um, it's in India where this uh, film takes place, and so the people who are there um, help him, and he's trying to get back to America, but, you know, he has problems as um, a bridge that um, Colonel Nichols, Nicholson uh, uh, begins to have his men build after some time of not uh, playing ball with uh, Colonel S uh, Saito because of sort of things like the Geneva Convention and other things of like of what is and is not appropriate for war um, and what like manual labor is not allowed but as time goes on, and he's also has a, obviously some uh, time in the oven, which you know, which is basically like a hot box, and uh, he's in there for a good number of days, um, and eventually, you know, he has it to where they are building a bridge because his men were while well, they had to build it, they were purposely doing it in a way that. Will slow things down because, you know, the bridge is needed to transport people from one camp to another. Uh, like one 
some people will be able to go to a better uh, facility for like a who need uh, better medical care than they have there um, and also people will be able to be brought to that camp uh, so that's what the bridge is for but um, the bridge unknown to you know, of course Nicholson because you know, he didn't escape and he is very much against that. He doesn't think that would do really any good, especially when he hears how people have died um, trying to escape. Um, and he, uh, you know, Nicholson's one of those people who's very sort of by the book uh, uh, military men. just wants to show that the the Japanese at the bridge can do something like build this bridge so well that they, it's like they're going to have to stop and sort of recognize that, that they did this and um, and then how they want to blow up the bridge of uh, uh, Huckins and Holden and some others who go with them to you know, go to mine uh, the bridge into them pull, push down on a plunger to destroy it um, you know this goes of course unaware until near the end where everything comes to a head and we see the final results of this bridge and uh, it's a it's a just a fantastic film. Um, I've been I've meant to talk about this film uh, before. Um, probably have mentioned it here or there. Uh, uh, possibly I've talked about Lawrence of Arabia before, which I probably will talk about again uh, uh, sometime this year. Um, um, but I really love this film. It's a um, an incredible movie. Um, this is a great uh, <clears throat> Blu-ray. There was another, well, has the same Blu-ray, but there was something like with a little booklet that I wanted to get, but I just haven't ever been able to do so. Um, and um, obviously it was a little more expensive because of that, but, you know, uh, I'm happy with this. It's a, Regardless, it's the same stuff, just minus the you know, little book that comes with it. And uh, this, uh, this is one of those films that is a definite classic. Um, it's one that has been uh, recognized as being one of the best films ever made, um, along with a. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, so that David Lean was able to make a couple of films that are deemed uh, the best ever made. Um, of course, also uh, Doctor Zhivago would be one of the, another one that he did that sort of has that title. Um, but this is a really well done movie. Uh, story is very interesting the characters are all interesting the performances are excellent and um it deserves every you know academy award it received and it should have won supporting actor also you know i think it's one of those films where you know it's where all the awards it received were all justified and it probably could won a few more um uh, the writers of this film did not get credit until later because you know they were blacklisted so instead you know this film is based off a book so they just gave the author credit um, but he didn't know English so it uh, you know it pr it really uh, is one of those situations where it's like, well, the guy doesn't know English, so how could he ever ever written a script in English? Uh, 
and it is inspired by a real bridge that is on the River Kwai that was built, but aside from that, there are uh, a lot of liberties, you know, and, and the film itself doesn't try to claim it's true, but there is a bridge on the River Kwai that was built uh, during World War II, you know, and, and all that, so that stuff is, like, fairly accurate, but, uh, like, the real guy who inspired it, Colonel Nichols, uh, said how the guy who was inspired, uh, Colonel Saito was a very fair man, because in the film, you know, Saito seems to be very, you know, you know, not the most, uh, upstanding military man in, in you know, in Japan, basically. But, uh, but, you know, of course, you know, gotta have tension, and so, you know, if you don't make him more of a, like, a bad guy, the tension isn't going to be as uh, severe as it could be otherwise. And um, the rail bridge is still um, intact. Nothing was ever really done to try and blow it up as far as I know. So, again, just more uh, liberties with uh, from reality to book and film. Um, but again, you know, the, the movie never tries to claim its uh, true story at all. So, you know, credit there. Because some films like this, you know, would try to say it's based on a true story. And then if you really look at the actual events, there's certain things that are true, but then many that aren't. And uh, I can kind of get a bit much at times. Um trying to distill fact from fiction um, but um, but yeah this is uh, an excellent movie um, the music is all again fantastic uh, Malcolm Arnold uh, did a great job in the Colonel Bogey uh, <laughs> song that's whistled uh, is very synonymous with this film you know it's it's it was a more pop, it was always a fairly like a fairly popular tune and then they tweaked it for World War Two with certain uh, leaders uh, that were involved like Hitler and uh, I believe Himmler was part of it also <clears throat> and. Uh, it's, it was very disrespectful and they turned it into something that was fairly more disrespectful so um, but you know this is a, an excellent film um, has a, a, a this blu-ray has a Willem Holden and Alec Guinness on the Steve Allen show uh, archival audio of Willem Holden narrating the bridge on the river quiet premiere uh, crossing the bridge picturing graphics track and um, there's making of and there's also something with uh, uh, John Milius talking about this film and how uh, he how much he loves it and when he saw it and now he's like a kid and he was just loved it and it was really cool to hear his thoughts on this film um, he's a great uh, writer and director in his own right um but yeah, this is a really excellent film. Um, definitely a masterpiece and a classic. And uh, you know, sometimes movies get throw those titles thrown at them, and you look at them and you're like, hey, "That's no, not that doesn't deserve that title." But this definitely does. It's well made, well acted, and well just well made overall. And I could be here for so long just praising it, but. You know, a lot, of, a lot has already been said about this film. I don't really have a whole lot more to say, but, you know, I really w enjoyed watching it. I was probably like 10 or 11 when I saw it um, on TV, and I thought it was really, really good. Uh, you know, uh, it's not as fast-paced as, like, in terms of, like, typical war films, in terms of, like, the action and such. It's sort of slow. It's a at times like it's a fairly slow build to the end. I mean there are 
you know, people get shot at and people get shot and killed and such. So, that, you know, as is war. So that's all in this film. But, you know, it's not like war films today, typically, where there's a lot of action. Um, you know, that's fairly constant. Um, and I think that's part of the appeal and charm to this film, you know made in a different time obviously but you know a film like that this probably wouldn't be made uh much today um, not unless the director was somebody who was so well respected they could make anything they wanted and if they wanted to make a film that was similar to this in terms of like if it's like a war movie but things build up uh, and there isn't constant action you know there's very few who could ever get away with that today um but this is an excellent movie. Um, highly recommend uh, to anybody who hasn't seen it. And for those who have, uh, it'd be worth a rewatch. Um, so what do you think of this movie if you've seen it? Um, like it? Dislike it? Somewhere in the middle? If you want, you can comment below. Or not. Uh, you can do what you want. But, uh, yeah. I will... Uh, talk to you next time. I hope all of you will uh, have a great day, have a great weekend and a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.